Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. So today I would like to discuss exercise 2.4, question number 2. If you remember my previous video for topic uh, 2.4, uh, I'm asking student to do question number 2. Okay, so I hope that you try your own first, then you can look this video for the solution. Okay, if you read the question, in a random sample of 85 automobile engine crankshaft bearing, so if you look here, random sample of 20, uh, 85 automobile engine crankshaft bearing. So here you can see that your N is equal with 85. Okay, samples N. Okay, 12%, 12% have a surface finish that meet the roughness specification so basically if you look here okay you have uh, your parameter you have a mu you have um you have mu you have pi you have sigma you have sigma square isn't it so here you want to see which one they concern about so i'm um, in my lecture i said if you have two outcome it will be a proportion okay so how do you know it's a two outcome you can see here, okay, the surface meets the roughness specification or not meet this roughness specification. So you have two outcome. That's why here you can see they might ask you about proportion. Okay, but what is the question? Uh, look, question A. Oh, not to forget, uh, 12%. What is it? In this case, because we know you have two outcome, pi proportion, okay, so this one might be your p, okay. I put here p mid mid specification is zero point one two, okay, because here it's not number of, isn't it? It's given in term of percentage. You already have p, p is zero point one two. Okay, now look the question. Construct a 98% confident interval. Alright, so here you can see they ask you 98% confident interval. So from here, you can see that your alpha is equal 0 0.02. And then they didn't ask you one-sided. Okay, so this is will be two-sided. So your alpha should be divided by 2. You get 0 0.01. Okay. Uh, construct a 98% confident interval of bearing that do not meet the roughness specification. So, if you look here, from the first sentence here at the beginning, they give you meet, isn't it? 0 0.12. But the question asks you, do not meet the roughness specification. So, that means your P not meet will be 1 minus 0 0.12. So, you will get, what is it here? Mm, 8, 9 minus 1 is 7, isn't it? 0 point, yes. Eh, here is 8 lah. 8, isn't it? Yes, 0 0.88. So, this is your uh, proportion not meet. Okay, uh, so that's the question and then give an interpretation of the parameter. Okay, so question A ni, you can see that this is one population proportion. Okay, so we only have one formula to be used and the formula is given in your statistical table, page 6. Okay. Page 6 on the left side. So basically how to solve this one. You will have a 98% confident interval for proportion. I will put here not meet. Okay. Because uh, they ask you do not meet the roughness specification. And then the formula is in page 6. Okay. You can see. This is the formula P plus minus Z alpha over 2 P 1 minus P over 
and ya. Alright, so this is for not made. So this is the P that you will use. Okay, and then from here, you, you need to find from the uh, table uh, the value of Z, page 36, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 36. This one should be Z alpha 0 0.01. Okay, if you look at the, uh, the table, page 36, or it's a normal distribution uh, table, 0 0.01 will be... Um, ah, 2.3263. 2.3263. Ah, this is the value for Z. So, you know the Z uh, value. You know the p value, you know the n value, so you can substitute into this formula. So you will have 0 0.88 plus minus 2.3263, okay, times with 0 0.88 times 0 0.12 over 85, okay. So use your calculator. So, when you press calculator, you key in the value. Okay, your answer here will be... Oh, sorry. Uh, so, here your answer will be uh, 0 0.7980. Okay. Uh, and then, the other one is 0 0.9620. Uh, okay. So, make sure here, four decimal places and then the left number ni, the lower uh, bound value ni, must be smaller than this one. Okay, because of this one, sometimes, uh, this is the mathematical form, plus minus. But here, should be the subtract first. And then here, the plus. Okay, so the lower bound should be smaller than the upper bound. Alright. So, that is uh, the answer. And then, if you look the question here, give an interpretation. So, again, interpretation is as usual. Lah. Uh, uh, how to interpret? Uh, let me see. We are. Okay, uh, the word we are. We are 98% confident. Okay, that, uh, you take back here, that, uh, apa? the bearing, okay, that the bearing uh, do not meet the roughness specification is lies between uh, this value, 79.8%. Ha, basically, here you have the the apa ni, the unit. Okay. Alright. So, that is your question uh, A. Okay. So, now we move to question B. So, if you look question V, if you read, how large, oops, sorry. How large the sample size? Okay, they ask you the sample size would be if we wish to be at least 95% confident. So, from here, you know your alpha is 0 0.05. That the error in estimating proportion. So, this one show you pi again of the bearing in the population that exceed the roughness specification is 0 0.02. So, this is the estimating error. So, this is your E. 0 0.02. Okay. Basically, if you look a uh, formula to find the sample size, it's in page 8. Okay. Since this is proportion, the formula will be N equal with... Oh, sorry. Okay. N equal with uh, 
z alpha over 2 over e okay this one all square root okay all square root, all square times p times 1 minus p okay so if you look here uh z alpha over 2 here okay for sure you can find from the statistical table page 36 all right because alpha divided by 2 you will get z 0 0.0 to 5 so this one will be 1.96 okay if you look uh, uh statistical table page 36 and then this is your e we have your e and then your p so your p here uh if you look here they are concerned about exceed the roughness specification is 0 0.02 okay so this is mid specification eh? But this one exit, so your P ni will be the same as question A lah. Okay, here your P will be 0 0.88. So, you just substitute the value here. 1.96 over 0 0.02 square 0 0.88 and then 0 0.12. Ah, uh, Here, you must clear which one is your P, your main P. So, in this case, 0 0.88 lah. So, here you will get, uh, take 4 decimal places first. You get 1014.1824. Since this is sample size, you will round off, okay, round up to the next number, 1015. What is it here? It's a automotive, automobile engine crankshaft bearing lah. Okay, this is the unit. Okay, you must have your unit as well. Okay, engine, crankshaft, bearing. Okay, uh, for sure you need to write it nicely lah. Okay, so again, at this part, if you look here, in statistic, even this is not more than 5, you need to round up to the next number. Alright, okay, so I think that's all for the solution exercise uh, 2.4 number 2. So, make sure you... Try your own first and then look this video. Okay. And if you have any question, if you still don't understand, uh, for sure you can WhatsApp me. Alright. Okay. Thank you class.